Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we're going to take a good look at Frax HD. Now this is the uh, pro version, so the pro upgrade, which is well worth, well worth money. And you can do so many cool things with this app. So when it loads up, you're presented with this screen here, where you have your different... This is the pro version, uh, with the other version you're not. But it allows you to uh, start things off like this. Just uh, zooming in and things, which is very, very cool. But if we hit this little thing, but it says Fraxy, we have Explore, Build, Shape, Frax Flow, Capture Video, and Game Center. So we can record video with the Pro version as well. You may have seen my other my other video where I used Frax as a as a music video thing. I'll show you how I did that as well. Um, so anyway. Let's just hit it again at the top, and you see this little thing here. This will allow you to look at your presets here. You get more, there's more here than there is in the original, because uh, it's the pro play. But like I said, it's well worth it. So basically, you can start by picking, start from picking from any of these uh, designs here, and it'll, it'll load up there, you see? And if we like that one, we'll stick with it there. And then we can, let's choose colors here, and we can... Use our little thing here to go through all these fantastic colours. You see? And then you could do spectrum as well. Change the spectrum. And then there's uh, different things for the frequency. And then there's, well, there's just all sorts of cool, really cool stuff. Lights is cool. You see? There. Or we could go into Frax Explore now. <clears throat> With Frax Explore, you get these little things here. And we can just change the lights by hitting the shuffle. Or we can stop the lights. And we can do them by hand. And also, if we tap at the bottom as well, we can set our motion off here. Or we can change how it works. It's very, very, very cool. So this is not a very exciting one. Um, Frax Build allows you to build. You can change the shape here. And then you can start with colors. And then you can sort the lights out and the different textures as well. So you can go deep. Let's go to shape. Let's change the shape again. So then, once you've got your happy with that, you could actually go then to Frax Explore and set motion off for that as well. You zoom out eventually, it'll just say Frax, and then you can zoom in. And you can also use the XY you know, for the gyroscope as well. So, let's see here now, and let's go to a different one where we can see it better. So let's just choose one of these here. Now you can scroll through as well, the presets, as you see. So if you wanted the bigger version, you could see what, what takes your fancy there. That's quite a nice one there, so we'll set with that. And then we'll go with uh, Frax Explore for this. So we'll start with our colours. Let's change our colours around a bit. That's cool. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. But that's good. So this is where our colours, and we can change the speed that our colours change here. See, we can spin it really fast. And it gets really trippy. But say, for instance, this is a point now, say, we find a, 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 a fractal thing that we like, we can change our lights, have do something with the lights here, see? So let's set lights off, and then let's go with our colours. So now we've got lights and colours, and then we could put motion in as well, if we wanted to. But let's uh, go here a sec, and if we go to this little one here, we can see that we can save our image, so we can save it as a as a photo basically the pro render 
this is a, a thing you can purchase X amount of pro renders from. Something for you to look into if you uh, decide to get the program, uh, the app. Sorry, and then you have the usual sharing options and stuff. So let's go for this uh, this one. Let's go save video. So say we like this. Now here we can set up our different uh, video things. I'm going to believe it on 16.9 ratio and 60 frames per second. And I'm going to have it on this one here. So we just basically, all we need to do is just start recording. And it will record. Now here, you can make certain alterations to the motion while you're recording. See, you can start to zoom in. And the colours, we can change. And also the cool thing now is we can adjust our, our lights as well. Let's go back to motion there and we can zoom back out. Very cool. Let's go to colours. Change the way our colours are working. There you go. Look, see. Very nice. And let's uh, go to motion and zoom back in. And go to lights. You'll see how the lights work now. See. Motion. Zoom in. I mean, you can spend more time if you wanted to make like you're making a pro video kind of thing or something that is a lot more involved. So when you're happy, we've got what eighteen to do twenty seconds worth. Say, we'll just stop that there, and the video should now. So that's done. Let's just go to our photos, and there's our nineteen second video there. Which we've just which we've just done. So of course now you've got this video in in your 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 camera roll. You can basically do as you like with it. So back to Frax and a couple more things here. Let's go to Frax Design again. Let's change these colours out. I need to go with motion. Uh, so Frax Explore motion. Don't don't know where oh, where we go. So anyway, let's change this to uh, something else. So there's, I mean, you can see that there's so many different different ones you can choose from. Let's change the color on that one. See, it's very cool, isn't it? We can change the lighting as well. Very nice. So you get to see an idea of some of the super cool stuff you can do here. Also in the pro version we have shape so you can now change the shape and once you're happy with that fractal shape you select it there to change the lights out a bit. Let's change colours round and you can see you start to get sort of like 3D check textures going on and stuff. It's very very cool. I don't know the math of this but it doesn't matter because it's it's just great fun to use. So let's uh, have another look at a couple of these. Oh, there's so many, so many cool places to start. So, there you go. And so, say for instance, now you wanted to render the video on that one. To sorry. Oh, this is a pro quality images that you can, you, they do it for you sort of thing and send them back, I think. So, let's just uh, save video. Uh, we've got like five seconds of video there. So we can stop that. And again, it would be now in your thing. So to make a music video, let's just uh, do something with the audio bus quickly. So I'm going to have the output as uh, audio share. And I'm going to quickly record some music with... Uh, Thicket. So just basically, let me just set this. Make sure I'm I'm all ready here. It's in our recording. So let's go back to Thicket. 
Why is not working now? So it's crashed. Oh, here we go. Right. So back to Thicket. Let's launch Thicket. There we go. So I'm just right getting a signal. Cool beans. I'm just going to record a little bit of this. About 25 seconds, which would be the length of my two little videos. So now I have this, what is it, about 25 seconds worth of thicket loop. I'm going to open that in iMovie. Okay, and there it is. And then I'm going to go with video. I'm going to go with all here to see what there is and um, it's good because it'll tell me today's two videos here so I think first of all I'll add that one and then I'll add this one uh, um, okay so I think what as well I can what I shall do is just this transition as well I shall make it two seconds so very very quickly here we have a video with some music Now, you can spend more time trying to get the tempo right or have something playing in the background. Or if you want, you could use the Aurea um, video add-on thing and that'll play um, your video in the background and then you could add music over the top or you could record music to it sort of thing and you could do it that way. In fact, actually, I think um, it's in Aurea here. We um, set up a new project, and that's cool. We'll just leave it at that. <clears throat> if I go to, I think, import s somewhere here, because I have got the, um, or I'm, actually, I might not have it, or I might not have done the upgrade, uh, the, the what's it, but you can just, the, uh, I don't, I'm positive I had it in here. Hang on, hang on a minute. Hang on. Load video. There you go. Uh, so I, I have to drop my video in here. So I think this video is okay. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah, this is another one that I did. So if I play now, there's no music obviously, but my video is there. I could then, if I wanted to, play play music while this is playing and then I could uh, export the finished product off into wherever again so that's pretty cool so this was another one that I did um, in in thingy so it, this is where you could actually time it all up properly you know if you wanted to do it like that but of course also in um, in movie maker you can change the length of any part to suit or you know so you could time it up if you wanted it, it to change on particular parts of the music then that's cool as well so there's loads of different options and this is only using uh, I, uh, 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 iMovie iMovies uh, iMovie and it's just using Thicket which is quickly so you saw basically how quick you could do that and also the very 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 cool things you that you can have closed Thicket now and I put never mind the very very cool things that you can you can do with Frax. It's such a cool program, and uh, yeah, that's basically it, guys. If you like the video, like it. Um, you could go on with Frax for ages and ages. You're changing the rotation. All the different things are here. You can change all sorts of all well, just basically all sorts of stuff. See, you can just. change how it all looks 
That's, uh, and, 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 and plays. Just amazing. It's a, just a fabulous app. Especially when you consider that a couple of years ago, this would take <laughs> take forever to render. And the fact that this does it uh, as it's happening is is something else, you know. Very, very nice. Very, very cool. Indeed. Yeah. And the fact that you can record video as well is also super awesome. All right, guys. So this is just a quick one to show you basically how you could put a video together with some music and have a have a blast around there. Uh, Frax HD Pro. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you later.